OK, well, let's have a look and see who else is on the show tonight. We've got a packed show and I'm filled. My first guest is, God help us, the star of Celebrity Juice. It is the force of nature known as Keith Lemon, ladies and gentlemen. There he is. Hey, Keith, how are you doing? Hello. Good to have you here. Keith, recently, and this is exciting, Celebrity Juice is doing so well, it beat the news at 10 in the ratings. Did you know that? No, I didn't know. Some of your researchers told me and I said I didn't know, so... No, I didn't know. Although... <laughs> Yeah, Jonathan, I didn't know. OK, so, but to be fair, that wasn't a very funny episode of News of Ten that week, so... I'm I, I didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> Keith Lemon, ladies and gentlemen, he'll be out in a minute. He doesn't know much. <laughs> yes, is that why? Right? Yeah, I don't like to rush things, you know. Wow, no, you don't. Well, I'm going to ask you all about that. Uh, well, Keith, what's your favourite Olivia Newton-John song, do you think? Xanadu, it's Xanadu, Xanadu. <laughs> You are nice. Okay, that's. <laughs> that's a slightly, uh, it's a slightly new version of that. Uh, <laughs> physical's one of my favourite. Let's get physical. You've got to love that. Did you know that's been voted the sexiest song of all time over in the States? Did you know that, Olivia? It's hard to imagine now yes. with what's on the radio, but apparently that's true, yes. I didn't know. You didn't know. Well, you didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia Newton John, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. So that's this week's show. Let's get amongst it. I've got some exciting science news for you before we get uh, on with the guests because engineers have designed something. Uh, I didn't know there was such a demand for this, but apparently people have been looking for this for a while now. A tail for humans, OK? But not just a tail you hang off yourself, a tail that actually responds to you. I've got the prototype here. Uh, actually, this thing's been properly delivered. It's a scientific case. Here it is, OK? Look at this. This is the tail. <laughs> right? For real, it's a strap-on. And you... <laughs> You put it around your waist and it responds, it's got sensors that respond to your body temperature, your pulse. If you're excited, if you're interested, it will, it will wake up a bit. And, <laughs> and so you'll know, so people will know what's going on. I'll put it on and this, it's genuine. It's a genuine thing. OK. OK, let me, I'll strap this on. OK, so you see, I've got it on, right? <laughs> OK. So if I start thinking about, if I think about, uh, you know, I'm pleased to be here, I'm enjoying the experience, I'm enjoying having Keith Lemon on the show. You see that? Look, that's me. That's <laughs> OK, now, if I think, and I think about... Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased about having Nicole Scherzing on the show. Yeah, you see, it's getting a bit bigger, the wag. There you go, you see? So it works like that. I thought we'd do uh, the ultimate scientific test. We'd give one to Keith Lemon to see how he responds. Keith... No, Keith! <laughs> you got Keith, that's, that's not how you wear it. You got it on wrong. Is it on wrong? Is it on wrong way? You know it's on wrong. <laughs> What are you thinking about? Right? No, 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 no! Don't sp- OK, that's good. Oh, oh, oh. What? <laughs> Nicole! Nicole, help him out. Get him, try and, try, steady the tail for him. You hold on to that for him. You hold on to that so he can undo that. OK. <laughs> okay. Wow. Wow. Uh. Keep in the tree! <laughs> <Focus>. <laughs> <laughs> Before that. <laughs> oh, no. Let's get my next guest out. He's juiced more celebrities than just about anyone else. It is the force of nature known as Mr Keith Lemon, ladies and gentlemen. Come on out, Keith. Did well, you um, uh, get enough for your wank bank? No, no, no. You see, I, I'm not a young man like this. Wow. Physical. Wow, that's a, and that's quite some suit you're wearing as top well. Top man, top man. It is top man, isn't yes. it? Uh, well, oh, well, oh, well, oh, oops. Tell yes. me more, tell me more, kid. Uh, Living you and John. Yes, yes. I can there. remember when I saw Xanadu when I was a kid. Um, we'd been to see me auntie. And um, we came home <laughs> and Xanadu was on telly. <laughs> and uh, I just literally besotted yeah. by this lady in roller well, she's boots. A, a beautiful woman. And then my mum says, will you make a cup of tea? I said, no. <laughs> she says, Keith, get up make me a cup of tea. I said, I'm, I'm not making you a cup of tea, no, because I was like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, Olivia. <laughs> and she still looks well, doesn't she? How old were you then, Keith? Well, I think I must have been about seven. <laughs> It was, okay. it was in the okay. past. It was in the past. <laughs> okay. I, don't, I never know how to sit me. Yeah. <laughs> that, no, that, that, is you, that is the way you should sit. That the, That's the way you should sit. I'm because a... that looks comfortable and natural. <laughs> and 
and you're like, so, uh, fill the space. That looks quite be uh, You know what? You're, you're a beautiful figure of a man right there. Thanks. So, <laughs> congratulations on Celebrity Juice. You just had your 100th episode, is that why? 101th. 101th episode. <laughs> wow. Who, who thought it could possibly last? <laughs> I don't, it's weird, cos when we started, we used to get about 360,000 viewers. Yeah, yeah. And back then, that was all right. And that was quite... Cos this is on ITV2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's not a bad figure back then. That back was a pretty then, yeah. good show. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, we are now slightly older. I mean, I'm nearly 30. Wow. So, um, <laughs> Yeah. And you've had a change in personnel recently as well, because Fern is no longer with you. And that was such a great team you had, those yeah. figures on either side. Well, nature um, um, got her up the duff. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible because I thought she had a penis. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> but it turns out it's possible. She had a lovely baby um, yeah. called Rex, and um, the baby does have her nostrils. Oh, wow, okay. And, um, but yeah, it's lovely. So we've got Kelly Brook, who's equally, well, she's probably more lovely than Fern, for she has these big breasticles. Yeah, well, <laughs> you don't have to compare the girls in that way. Oh, no, I can't compare um, Kelly with Fern because Fern has no breasticles. <laughs> She has the chest of a boy. OK, OK. But she's a lovely girl, though. Well, yeah. actually, when she had a baby, she got really big milk trucks. Yeah, OK, OK. So, um, yes. So oh, we... you are a lady, after yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Fern, if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> so Kelly has signed on knowing this is the kind of treatment she's going to get from Yeah, you. well, I think she's, like, been doing it for two weeks now and she's not been sacked. So that's a good sign, because normally she can't hold a job for a, about two weeks, can't she? <laughs> What did she do? She did Love Island, got sacked. <laughs> she did um, Big Breakfast, got sacked. Okay. Um, she did Britain got, Britain's Got Talent, got sacked. Okay. But she admitted, she says, I'm rubbish at telly. <laughs> but you don't need to be good on Celebrity Juice, you can just get pissed and have a good time. So, and you and must... just laugh, I always get, try and get her to laugh, cos it all jumbles about yeah. all over the place. <laughs> I get the feeling you're enjoying having her there more than she's enjoying being no, there. No, no, she's really enjoying it. She said she's really excited. Yeah, she likes okay, it. OK, we've got a clip uh, from the show. It's on Thursday nights. ITV, it's a big hit. Champion on ITV2, it's a big hit already. Uh, this is a clip, and this is a special guest you had here. You had from Coronation Street. Oh, Ken Barlow. Ken Barlow. No relation is... to Gary Barlow, but... No. Yes, <laughs> Ken Barlow. OK, have a look at this. This week, um, what's his name? Jack P. Shepard, that cocky little Northern bastard that's in um, Coronation Street. <laughs> yeah. Um, he got banned from wearing a shitting t shirt, didn't he, on Coronation Street? Here's a picture of him. Shitting. I was not aware of that. But oh. haven't you have a, a, a similar fiasco? You got banned from wearing this t shirt, didn't you? Oh, what? <laughs> It's a great show. I love Celebrity Juice. Yeah. I don't know how you get away with it. I think um, the ruder we are, we become, like, desensitised to the rudeness, and ITV just go, oh, I'll just let him get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, now, so, uh, backstage earlier on, uh, I saw you had a camera crew following you around. What's going on there? Is this, uh, this... I'm doing a second series of Lemon La Vida Loca. That's Lemon, The Crazy Life. OK. And that's uh, my reality show where they just film me taking a bath and doing whatever else, yeah. But they did that already one series, so how will the second series be any different to the first I'm one? I'm going to go to America and become oh. an actor and I'm going to do a play um, called Back to the Future, the, um, the play forward slash musical. Oh, I see. So based on the film? <laughs> It's totally like the film, but singing the film. The, the song, the film yeah, is like, we have got to go back to the future. For this, we will have to go 88 miles an hour. Hour, 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 yeah. <laughs> and, and will someone be helping you with the songs, or is that going to be kind well, of I, the standard? Well, um, I've been writing music with Ali Jones, who did We're Walking in the Air. I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm not joking. He didn't, like, he didn't like Walking in the Air. Yeah, no, but he knows about music, cos he sang We're Walking in the Air. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's a fantastic Christmas song. It's my favourite Christmas yeah. song. Okay. And, you know, Marvin from JLS, yeah. he said he'll help us create some good hooks for songs. So you've got and Ali, so Every Ali time Jones. I bump into someone, I say, oh, will you be in my musical, Back to the Future, the play forward slash musical? <laughs> and, yeah, and Ken Barlow's going to be Doc Brown. Buddy! <laughs> <laughs> You can do it that well. Have you, have you asked well, Nicole or Olivia, have you asked either of those if they could be in? <laughs> Nicole! Would you like to play me mum in 50s? That's more, that's more my role than hers. I, I tell you what, when you know when she was in Greece yeah. and, and she was like girl next door, I, I'd like to better them before she came rock chick. I didn't like all big hair, but when she girl next door, I'd ruin that dress. Yeah, I would, okay. I would. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so that's Living La Vida Loca. Now, what do you do? You're busy, you're planning a musical, you're doing a new Lemon La Vida Loca. Yeah. Celebrity Juice is filming now, that's on Thursday night. Yeah, 10 o'clock, I uh, But too. you have something else coming up as well, is that what you just told me you had some good news today? 
Oh, what, um, Keyhole? Yes. Yeah, I did a pilot for Through the Keyhole, which, um, it was a show that used to be done by David Frost and Lloyd Grossman. Which was a great show. It was a kind of afternoon, kind of cosy family TV show. It's not anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the premise was... Um, Lloyd Grossman went around somebody's house and, um, they would unveil vital clues as to whose, how, whose house that was and the celebrity panel in the studio would try and guess whose house it is. And they would drip feed them, they'd give them a little bit of information, a little bit more. And yeah. The, the clues would go... And Lloyd isn't on your show, presumably, is he? No, but he came to the filming of it. Cos Lloyd, it was... Everyone used to... Cos he used to say it in that weird way. Well, who... How did he do it, can you remember? He lives in the house, Lord, yeah. That was very good. <laughs> That's exactly how he used to sound. And that... <laughs> in a way... <laughs> That was part of the appeal of the show, just to hear him say that. Well, I, I don't say that, though. So you go around the house. I say, ooh, Abby tits in a house like this. <laughs> but who's doing the <laughs> scene? He buy go mappy as a pig in muck when he's the abuser. <laughs> <laughs> but so are you going around the house then? I'm not clear. Or is he yeah, I say hello, welcome to Fruit Keel. <laughs> Fruit Keel. I don't pronounce the Fruit ever. Keel. Fruit Keel. Well, hello, welcome to Fruit Keel. <laughs> and yeah, I also um, go around the house. So you're as doing well. both jobs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think we have a clip. Oh, no, I haven't seen this yet. I think they've just. This is from the pilot, so yeah. they haven't changed anyone yet, and I haven't seen either. Let's have a look. <laughs> I'm in the kitchen. Let's have a look in the fridge. Now, now it's often said you can tell a lot about a person by the food they eat, and as you can see here, we have cartons of food labelled with the days of the week. Here, we have some vacuum-packed fish. Could this be a clue? Or could it be a red herring? In contrast to the healthy food in the fridge, there is a drawer which is literally an orgy of confectionery. So the healthy eating goes to <laughs> But that is a good definition of a juxtapose. The new thing, yeah. Can you guess whose house that is? Well, hold Just on. That clip. Was that... That was real, then? Because I thought that drawer, that looked like you'd set that up. No, that no, it's a... all real, yeah. So that's real, that's someone's house. Yeah. Can you guess whose house? I, I actually said their name in that clip. I didn't hear... Did you hear a name in that clip? It was Amir Khan, the boxer. That's Amir Khan. How does he get boxing fit if he's got a drawer Just full of chocolate? play the beginning again. I say his name. <laughs> I'm here in the kitchen. Let's have a look in the fridge. Oh, that, you you I'm said here Amir in, kitchen. in the kitchen. I said his name, Amir, no. in kitchen. OK. <laughs> Well, I just heard. <laughs> and then I go to his gym and I say, I'm here in gym. OK. Uh, so are you going to do that for everyone? Are you going to try and find a way of slipping their name in? Because then we'd all... It would be too easy to guess, wouldn't no, it? No, you didn't hear it, did you? Well, but if I knew that was going to happen, I'd be listening out for but it But you didn't know, I just told you. No, but if you did that all the time... I'm not going to do it all the time. Well, you'd know, wouldn't you? Well, that's what I was asking. <laughs> no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're going to stick around, because later on, we're going to do something and we might need your help. Is that OK? Oh, what with the with Jonathan the man Goodwin, on fire? our daredevil escapologist. Yeah, yeah, I'm up for that danger. Okay. That's my middle name, Dan well, my middle name's Ian, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, danger. nickname. Yeah, danger. danger. Keith okay. Danger Lemon. Yeah. <laughs> I always enjoy having you on. You great friends, Mr. Keith Lemon, ladies and yeah. gentlemen. We'll be back out later on to join in.